someone has heard you. In the past, maybe it was just yesterday or maybe it's been years ago. We all have been hurt by someone, but sometimes we can be bound by an emotional pain that resurfaces again and again through our, our life to the point that we made this pain the center of our life. And this enable us to keep moving forward. We shouldn't allow this kind of bitterness in our life. We have hard time forgiving someone that hurt us because we feel like he or she doesn't deserve our forgiveness. And maybe they don't, but you do. You should not allow yourself to keep having that kind of feeling in your heart. When you forgive someone, you are not doing them a favor. You are doing yourself a favor. So stop thinking otherwise. Allowing bitter bitterness in our heart is like drinking poison and hoping that so someone else die. Most of the time, The, per the person that hurt you doesn't even remember what she has done or what he has done. Um, I heard one time of this college professor that she gave, she gave an example to the, the class. She had a big bag of potatoes and then and an empty bag. So she made this experiment with the class. She said, okay, remember that person that hurts you very bad. The one that hurts you very, very bad over all the rest. And write down this person's name in one potato and put it in the back. And then keep doing the same thing over the next person. Write the next person's name on another potato and put it on the back. At the end, you're gonna have, you're gonna have a bag full of heaviness, bitterness that is poison your soul. So who is suffering in this case? All these people that you have a uh, grudge against to? No. You hurting yourself, you carry on this heavy weight. That's the same thing. It's equally the same thing when you hold these ugly, ugly feelings, such as bitterness, unforgiveness, resentment, resentment in your heart. We can't allow somebody else's wrong behavior to ruin your life. The key is that when you do forgive them, you put them in God's hands. And God's word says that he's our vindicator and he's the one that will bring our recompense. Remember that God can do wonders things in relationships if you just let go of the bitterness, the resentment, and the unforgiveness. I want to... Mention Matthew 18:21 to 22. This is well related to this topic. This Bible verses Matthew 18:21 to 22 says, Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot, my brother and sisters. Whoever that hurts you, I repeat, most of the time they don't even remember. They just go about their life and you are stuck. You are no. I, I will not forgive you because you do not deserve it. Because you think that the forgiveness is for that person. No, no, my dear friend. Forgiveness is for the person that feel it, that have it, have it on their heart. So 
we need to forgive to release our spirit of the heavy poison that is carrying on bitterness inside. Forgiving is like saying to that person that hurts you, listen, you don't owe me anything anymore. But then you think, but they do owe me something. But if you are willing to cancel the debt, like God is willing to cancel your debt and let you go, then God can deal with them and God can pay you back many times over for anything that was taken from you in the past. Thankfully, as Christians, we have a good God who brings such a simple truth. Thankfully, the Holy Spirit who dwells within us provides godly guidance, strength, and love to help us to help us overcome our human nature. Remember, we have a forgiving God, but this is a conditional benefit. We need to let go all the resentment that we have in our heart. It's not easy, but if you ask the Lord to help you through the Holy Spirit, He will allow you to get out all that resentment, all that bitterness from your heart, and you will be free. So my friend, I encourage you, forgiveness is a process. You can start it today, but it's hard to do it alone. I would say it's impossible to do it without God's guidance. I went through that, and I'm telling you that I'm free today. I'm free thanks to the Lord. So start today. The Bible says today is the day of salvation. Today you call upon the Lord, ask Him to help you to heal that pain that you have been carrying on for so long. Ask him honestly and sincerely to forgive you first for whatever that you have also. Because we are all sinners. No one is good, the Bible says. So whatever that you still have pending with the Lord, you know, cleanse your heart and then start asking for his help so you can forgive whoever that hurts you. This is all for now. God bless you, my friend.